And my name's Nurul. My name's Ben. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm Courtney Bobbitt. I'm Isabel Zermani. I'm 26 years old. I am 25 and a half. I'm 19. I'm 28. I come from Melbourne, Australia. I'm from Germany. I'm from Canada. I'm from Egypt. I'm doing my PhD at Durham University. I'm studying to be an Egyptologist. I'm a classics major and a history major. And I am the photographer and videographer for this trip. We're here at Team LMD, uh, which is a Hellenistic site. The city was founded probably in about the 5th century BC, extending to about the 7th or 8th century AD. You might ask, why are we doing uh, a blog, an archaeological blog, on an Egyptian site, and what is the connection to biblical archaeology? By the understanding of Egypt and the Levant, it was continuous through uh, the ancient world. But we do know that this city, uh, who, which bore the ancient name of Thumulus in Greek, uh, became a major center for Christianity. One of the places that we will be excavating is a large uh, structure in the center of the uh, tell, which in fact may be the main basilica in a later period. found evidence of destruction layer, we found the, uh, the, the dead body of a warrior, uh, probably killed in an Egyptian revolt from the Egyptians around uh, the 180s uh, BC. Right now I'm sitting on a mound. Uh, we are still trying to find the edge of this house to explore and see what we can, uh, what we can see about, about the house and about, uh, about its settlement. Are, uh, part of our crew and uh, we're working really in three areas here in this Hellenistic house uh, a temple uh, about 100 yards uh, to the west of us probably from the uh, the late uh, Ptolemaic or early Augustan period uh, and then in the center of the tell. You can see the limestone block sticking out of the uh, profile there where they built the soccer field so they dug away a lot of it just over here, they were digging a sewer line that they found the um, statue of Arsinoe as Isis, the granite statue. This, this area has been leveled by uh, the Sebakin. The Sebakin take, take mud brick and they use it as fertilizer, uh, their, so they're farmers. Um, and in this area, they've taken everything. So they've taken everything that was Islamic, everything that was Roman, and we're down, we're down to the bottom of Greek buildings. We're not even. So we've got only the foundation of green buildings pretty much and, and floor levels. So about a meter under the ground we'll find the floor and we'll find a lot of fun stuff there. Because they've leveled it and it's so flat we were able to do a magnetometry survey. Well not me personally but um, a magnetometry survey was done in 2010 and they found it's um, just s some really uniform looking structures and so we are excavating here based on that survey we've excavated in the past an entire Hellenistic building and we found some uh, some assemblages on the floor some really cool stuff that's told us a lot about the building and the structure of the building and we've been able to make some uh, interpretations about this building its function uh, when it was built how it was built there's an aerial shot uh, when okay, we hadn't opened this unit or this unit yet, but as you can see, it, it correlates like exactly, which is which is pretty cool. Um, and then these blobs. So the white bits of walls and the dark blobs turned out to be ceramic concentrations. So they're like assemblages on the floor of different rooms. Yeah, we had um, an an assemblage. So that's a collection of pottery, and it was um, everything you'd need for a wine party. So underneath that, actually, we found the floor because. Of course. And then underneath the floor we found a little hoard of coins, so we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously this is the stuff we did restoration in last year and the restoration all got destroyed. 
Um, and since we have to clean it up anyhow, and it looks really nice, like it's, it's really easy for people to see. It's a street, you know, there's clear buildings and, and all of that. We're gonna take this down to try and find floor level, actual living floor level, the street level, which we think is what, maybe a meter, meter and a half? Down, uh, more, two meters? We're looking at two meters plus. We don't really know, this is what we want to know. <laughs> square so before we can get to the surface layer we're just simply removing the layer of dirt and then once we've done that we will then lay out uh, precisely a rectangle five meters by eight meters and then start moving the dirt inches by inches and recording and uh, trying to understand the building as we go down. Uh, this year we're going to start working on free clearance of the temple. It was excavated in 2009 by myself. However, due to time constraints, we could not access it fully. We have a rough date of the early Roman period, and this season is to confirm that dating. Also on the opposite side of the road, we believe there is a substantial courtyard and possible wall complex area in association with the limestone structure. There's been heavy stone presence as well, the broken sarcophagus, which appears to be of late period date. It is destroyed, it was removed from its original setting and is therefore not in situ. However, we believe it to have come from the area, as a substantial amount of stone fragments were also found not too far from it, which match the stone used for its construction. This season we'll be using um, a lot of workmen and also a nice L-shaped uh, trench just on the north uh, east side, which will hopefully confirm the dating by accessing one of the foundation trenches and also looking at finding a foundation deposit, which is usually a collection of vessels, stone objects, maybe an inscription, just anything to tell us who built the temple or give us a better date range. The area above is slightly raised, so the area here is heavily denuded too. So today we're just doing a site survey, just seeing the extent of the damage and the clearance of a lot of the material. So hopefully in the next few days we'll have more information for you. <laughs> 